the world's best Kiana Bay Fang on the Chinese Super Server here, guys. Up against a Renekton, and he's got a new setup he's been running at a shorter range champions. It's First Strike, okay? You're going Treasure Hunter. This is max gold generation. Now, you wouldn't run this setup against something like a Victor, would you? Because you can't First Strike him. But against a Renekton, First Strike. Boot Delivery. You get Treasure Hunter as well. You're potentially getting 1, 2,000 free gold over the course of the game. And you're going to be getting max build at 20 minutes if you're able to snowball. It's disgusting. And we're going to see here into the Renekton. It's like Renekton is a hard counter matchup. So I'm interested to see how he doesn't die. If enemy team picks Kiana, you pick Vex, you, pay, you pick Renekton, you can't lose. But obviously, when you're up against Beifeng, it may be a little bit different. Now, I've been versing a couple of pretty good Kianas in Korean Grandmaster at the moment. And they're probably the best Kianas I've ever versed. I can't even imagine how good Beifang is as he is letting the wave shove. He's not trading, is he? You're going to trade with your Q to get first strike, but you're not going to look for the all-in. I assume we're not going to look for the all-in until maybe level 5 when we have those 3 points in the Q. And CA, there you go. Plus 13 gold. Just small trades like this. Because you can't look for the all-in against Renekton, guys. Not until you've poked him out. Now, the one thing to note is when Beifang doesn't go Presence of Mind, he goes Tear and Mirror Miner. He probably will go at this game. Because without Presence of Mind, you don't have enough mana to keep on comboing and comboing. As First Strikes back up. Should see him go for a trade in a second as... Okay. Top lane. Tom Kench comes in for the gank. Tongue lands, and you can just see this damage is just, it's good damage, but it's not going to be enough to get the kill. Just whittles him down to roughly 35%. Waves in a good spot, and that's going to put Re uh, Renekton here in a bit of a predicament. Hard shove it. Level 4, I'm wondering, could you look for the dive? He's pretty low. We're going to look for a dive here. Problem is the mana. How much do we have? We have Biscuit. Flash, EQ. Ignite gets the kill. Treasure Hunter plus 70. I believe it's 20 gold increments, no? 70, 90, 110, 130, and then 150 for the final. For 550 total gold. And because we're not buying boots, the boots are free. You don't, you don't have to buy boots, man. You just go straight lethality, straight damage. Perfect buy. Dirk plus tier. Ah, oh, man. You couldn't ask for a better buy. And I love this. Dude, the mirror mana build is so good. You'll see, because when he stacks that tier, that mirror mana, man, the damage numbers just go crazy. The problem is, that first 10 minutes, when you don't have the mirror mana, it kind of feels awkward. You feel like you don't have as much damage as you would if you just went straight lethality. But, man, that mid-game spike, it just, you'll see, it just feels so damn good. As a shame Beifang's not playing on Korea. I'm currently gold rank on the Chinese super server here. The same server. And it's a, it's a battle, man. It's a battle on that server. I'll tell you this much. Not necessarily because the games are so high quality. It's more... There are so many boosters. And it's so inconsistent, the games. It's chaos. It's absolute chaos. It's fun, though. As we still don't win a 1v1 against Renekton, by the way. Just go invis, let the wave come in, play the waves. This Elise is getting work done on the map. Renekton wards mid bot side. Level 6 all-in with Ignite is possible for the all-in. And guys, you have to know your all-in capabilities. Because a lot of people here will get the kill on Renekton. Look at this. Oh. They'll get the kill on Renekton, they get a little bit cocky. And then they'll look for the all-in. Renekton just... Just 1v1s, boom, you lose, and you lose your entire lead. You have to know the matchups. Oh, Nidalee Spear. I got Predator, he will roam. Nice, smart guy. Level 6 here. Now, the question is can we land the ult? Renekton flashes in. We have. There you go, that's how easy it is to die, and everything slips away. Didn't have the ward. Renekton, just flash. That, that combo is so hard to dodge, and that's why when you're playing Kiana, level 6, the kill was possible, but yeah. He says, kind of rushed it. 
他这个状态，我慢慢耗的话，他挺难受的。还行吧，他交闪。My flash。Bruises mids, dude. I I sweat. I still I still think bruises mids. I'm so sick of them, man. I cannot beat them as a goddamn mage. I don't know why. Pink's top side. Wave is in a good spot. Flash up in 70. Flash is on his alt. That's probably where the next all in is going to come from. Only 66 gold generated so far from the first strike. But first strike, a bit of a scaling rune. You'll see in the later game combos. You're gonna start getting up to 50 to 100 gold. Plus the treasure hunter. Plus if you get the actual kill. And this is probably the hardest bit for Kianas, right? A lot of Kianas, they want to be Beifang. So, by, and they think that they, they're, they're so confident that they always are playing as though they're the best player in the world. And they just keep looking for the all-ins. The best Kianas, they know when they're to be patient, just like this. You have to wait for your opportunities. You can't rush them. Otherwise, if you die once here, you're pretty much not gonna. One more, one more death in this game, and it's gonna be so hard for him because he's gonna fall behind in experience. Renekton has a level lead. It's done. Twenty-eight gold there. You can see it's starting to scale up. Ten seconds. Here we go. Here we go. He's got all. He's gonna look for it. Hits the art. Takes him out. Catch you later, buddy. Nice, slow, and controlled. It's a shame we only have that one treasure hunter stack. I reckon we should probably start looking for Rome soon. It's fine. Tears scaling up. He's playing on this on his main account. This is 1800 LP, by the way. This is not a low elo smurf game. You should be able to tell. By the way he's playing it. Ah. You know that pike is the best pike in China. His name's Pudding. He is currently ranked higher than Beifang actually. I think he's ranked 3 or 4. Around about 2000 LP. He is insane. I should sh show you guys a montage of him one time. Almost got our Prowler's Claw. 9 kills to 6. Enemy Elise is 204. I love versing Elise's because they get early leads, they get bounties, and then you just kill them. They always throw leads. I swear to God, Elise's always throw leads. Shit champion. And I, in my opinion, I think. Champion, I think that is. Oh, here we go. Nice, simple EQ setup. Don't have to do too much. Champion, I think, is underrated right now. Lilia Jungle. After playing on the Chinese Super Server, even, even in Korea against some of the Lilias, man, that champion, when played correctly, is absolutely bonkers. I played against Tarzan. Not Tarzan to the streamer, Tarzan the pro player. He's Lilia. Oh my god, man. You can just 1v- you can actually just 1v5. Please, 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 please. One more treasure hunter stack. He wants a QWQ. QWQ gets the finish. 90 gold from the treasure hunter. Elise. We're waiting for the ultimate. Look at the ult. We juke into the bush. He could. Oh. I don't think that ult quite lands. He just wanted to push them back. And I think now is a flash opportunity to get the f out of there. Boot delivery comes in. Run, guys. Get the hell out of there. Make our way towards the prowlers here. Prowlers and lucidity. Probably. I would go I would go Mercs if I was playing Kiana because Renekton Elise is sure sure death. 100 percent But Beifang has this weird thing where he just loves the city boots, so let's see what he does. He could just not upgrade boots as well. But you don't have enough for the Dirk. Prowlers with City Boots. I knew it! I always know. Please, that's a juicy bounty for me, please. Like, Elise is never going to be able to survive the all-in from Kiana. It's just going to be an EQWQ done. Next item will be the Muramana, I'd say. It's going to be nice. Late game. Late game build. 
when you get that edge of night. Something weird going on here, right? You have to be inside of your opponent's head when you play mid. You have to notice their trading patterns, how they play, and then if they, you if you feel something unusual, they start moving differently. They then start moving more passively, more aggressively. Are they trying to bait something? Is the jungler here? Is the support roaming? What 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 are they planning? Like you have to be aware of these things because there's always slight changes, man. It's so obvious, like lower play, lower elo players, from my experience, give away jungle gank so easily. I can just sniff it out from a mile as soon as they make a different move. So like they've been playing passive all lane. Well, even if they've been playing aggressive, and then they, they back off and start playing passive and they kind of want me to go for an all in. It's like, okay, I can see you're trying to bait. Or well, they've been playing passive and they start moving up and they move and take take one step that they haven't been taking the whole laning phase. It's like, there's someone here, bro. It's so obvious to give away. So you need to be aware of that yourself. Um, especially when you give us good players because they'll, they'll pick up on it and they'll just expose you. There you go. Classic combo. No trade back pattern allowed for the Renekton at all. Anything will be met with an ultimate and Renekton will get taken out. Now having this tier is such a nice relief in the mid lane for Kiana because you're just able to shove much easier. One full clear doesn't take your whole mana bar. Now we get the plates. He's going to have so much gold this game. Holy shit. It's 1400, I think, for the mirror mana. So, yeah, a, a good state. Three hundred gold at thirteen. So boots is a three three hundred, three hundred from the first strike, and then what ninety plus seventy one seventy six, like eight hundred free gold so far. Thirteen minutes in. As we're gonna move up and set and Elise have a bounty. If this play works, it's GG. You. Oh, playing it so slow. Oh, I'm kind of nervous. We get the set, the ult into the Elise. Not quite enough. He hesitated with the ER. He could have just ER'd Elise for the shutdown and it doesn't work. Good news is Treasure Hunter completed. Not completed, another stack. And we gotta have a mirror mana here. Jinx. Okay, Jinx. Yep. Oh, he doesn't. Oh, okay. He had no in here enough gold. I was trolling. Kiana top. Sorry, Alessandra top. I just noticed Nidalee is the least in one trick, by the way. KZH. One. Least in must have been banned. Poor guy. They have objective bounties? That's nuts. Yep. Here. Yeah. There you go. Plus 40 gold. I think objective bounties will turn off after this turret, surely. I don't think they're that far ahead. I think 12, 12 or 15. Maybe it's set. Set and Elise's lead are pretty big. Now we have the mirror mana. Objective bounties turn off, as I said. Um, we're at 291. We need that 360 for the fully stacked. And when you hit that, you're going to start inhaling. You're going to start nuking people, eating them alive.
And the best bit about magical footwear is you get actually a little bit more movement speed from your boots. It's actually very noticeable, you can feel it. I'm not able to find anything mid lane, so we're gonna head back to the bot. You can tell high elo game guys playing it very slow, very smart. Lower elo, he doesn't really farm that much. Like he'll just run down mid and just kill people over and over. But in high elo, he farms a lot. He actually hovers like eight CS per minute, which is very high for an assassin like Kiana. Most Kianas average five or six, even in high elo. As we look for the flank, we're still trying to find the bounty on Elise. If he can get a one for one on Elise, oh, this could be perfect. This could be perfect. He needs to Q. So he'll Q as he comes out and then he won't be in vision and then he'll try and find a unique R. Let's see. You s that one, okay. You can't even play the game. Imagine being full tank renekton with a gore drinker and you still get one. Oh my God, can we find the list? And you still get one shot. He's thinking about flashing. Doesn't even need to. Goodbye. Four out of five stacks for Treasure Hunter. Just the Elise remaining. This is key. I got a lot of gold. You're damn right. And he's only he's he's ten stacks off the Mirror Miner too. Does this not make this just makes me want to play Kiana? It always makes me want to play Kiana, man. Why does it look so easy? It's not easy. It's trust me, it's not easy, man. Oh. Uh. As I think the next dragon fight is very important. You can't let them go to soul point. Ultimate up in 20. And he wants to try and start it, drag it across to the Nidalee, but it might not be a good fight. Find the Renekton. Renekton pops ult. Was that 105 gold from first strike? Excuse me? No way. Looking for the Elise. We have ult, we have ult. Q. Elise comes down. Elise is going to die here. Ah. Uh, gets the 1,000 gold bounty. Last treasure stack. Muramon is online now. Oh, yes, Bay Fang. That is what I'm talking about. We got 4,000 gold in the bank. Ay, ay, ay. And uh, that's what we've been waiting for. I made a fortune, guys. <laughs> You're damn right you made a fortune. That's classic Elise, I tell you. Every time these Elises get ahead. You can't save herself. She repels, you wait for it, and then you kill her. Five hundred and fifty gold from Treasure Hunter. Eight seventy. First strike. Thirteen hundred plus boots, that's sixteen hundred. Sixteen hundred gold generation so far this game. Edge of Night, no Seraldas. Wonder why he doesn't want Seraldas. It seems it, it, it'll be maybe after Edge of Night. Let's have a look. I'm not even sure it's going to make that far. This next team fight is going to be. You're going to see this the, the damage output right now and just. Like, we've all watched Beifang Kiana videos, but. You'll watch the damage output right now, and you'll still think in your head, how? I'm pretty sure EQ will kill anybody. Oh shit, what did... Does he not care? I'm down, honey. Oh my god! Huh? He goes down. Fucking hell. Now that fight looked difficult. He still has Ignite and Flash. Oh no. I think Elise is going to eat the Tom. Yes. Elise is sick. Yeah. Oh, that damage is nuts. And one... I mean, at least Flash cocooned, right? Holy shit. I didn't even see where the Kaiser went. 
I'm pretty sure the R just killed it from half health, maybe? Still don't have quite- if you had an edge of night there, obviously you're gonna be a little bit different. But your ult becomes such low cooldown here in the late game where you just- you're gonna have an ult every single team fight after you run out of base. That's how you- we still haven't dropped mid or top lane tower. What the hell is going on? We need vision. Pike? Oh! We get the pike, but we're gonna die over to the Kaiser. And these- these one for ones are not the greatest, I won't lie. If you have that much great, great bait by the bike. If you have that much gold, you can't afford to be off the map for this long. Chinese set. Set and Aatrox is on the server, they love. All from that arm, um, that rank one. It might, I mean, it could actually even be him. That 2000 LP player I did a video on a while back. And Nidalee steal it. It might be good. Jinx has rapid fire cannon, right? Give the inhib. Give the inhib. Wait for Beifang to come. Kill him, do Baron. Done. Lissandra, can you ult him? Jesus Christ, man. We have Flash R. Uh, I hope if he sees the Elise, he just ERs. But this Elise seems pretty good mechanically, so I reckon she'll just repel it. Oh my god. Against the Pike! Elise moves in. Ah, oh, he entered that fight, and that's probably going to be a. Unless Jinx can kill this. Oh, nice. Thank God, this Jinx cleans up. Oh, they fang. We can't miss those. Yeah. He flashed in. It looked good for a second, and then it looked terrible. Dragon secured. We have enough for Elixir if we want it. Just goes for the longsword. I just want to see the perfect ultimate. I just want to see Elise get killed. That's all I want. Always run around with your bush terrain for your Q, guys. If you get caught, if you get anything happens, just get out of jail for free. Press it, grab another one, press it, grab another one, press it. They can't touch you. They did slightly lower the cooldown, though, if you do remember the nerfs, but... If you're a good Kiana, you can still make it work. Um, can we clear the vision out? And Beifang wants to wrap from behind. You don't want to come front on against the enemy comp. Oh, no cocoon. Jinx has to clear top lane wave. Get red, clear top lane wave. Is nearly caught. Careful. Oh, 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 this could be a good ult. This could be a good ult. Now they're on the hunt. I don't know about hunting the pike. Let's see. Ah, you're dead. Follows it up. It's a two for none. This could be a good ult. Move in. E R. <laughs> Finally, baby, we get the team fight we are looking for. And it's 26 minutes, so we can't actually run down mid for the end. We'll be full build off this. It has to be 30 minutes with a wave to end. 
And if you if you got this many towers up, you'll get baited into trying to end and you'll lose. Baifang needs 20, he needs 300 more gold for the Sorabas Grudge. You can, you can just feel his damage is falling off a bit because he doesn't have any armor penetration. One more wave, then we reset. I'm invincible on jungle now, he reckons. Full items, I'm hot. 27 minutes in. Yeah. Gotta try and avoid. Make set play the team fights. Can we find the pick? I honestly think it doesn't matter at this point who you pick. Beifang gonna play the correct macro and go and split push into the side lane. It's so hard to play one wave. This is this moment right here is where I always I don't have the trust in my teammates to not all get all in while I'm in the bot lane. Because they always will fight. Ah, his team is cleaning up. They will always fight and lose in Korea. And Beifane honestly doesn't even do anything in this last team fight. He'll hop over, he has flash. He'll just collect the set. Enemy team, that's gonna run down for the end. Hardcore into it. Anyways boys, thank you for watching the video today. Appreciate it, good luck with your games. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace.